Good morning and welcome back. I don't know if I'm combining this or if it's gonna be its own separate vlog. I've been trying to combine them to kind of catch you up because I felt like it was weird that you're so far in advance. Anyways, uh, it's today another leopard or cheetah day, so I'm wearing this sweater. I think tomorrow I'm gonna wear a different sweater. I am just sitting here eating breakfast. I'm already late. I didn't film the makeup part because I didn't sleep and I don't think he slept very well. So we just kept snoozing the alarm. So I just like rushed and threw on a face. I am late already, like before the time of wanting to leave. But I'm hungry and gonna eat first. I did wanna talk about these socks that I mentioned that I got from Amazon. I mentioned it in a couple of vlogs back, but I got these socks. I'm normally like a nine and a half, sometimes 10. It just depends on like the shoe. So the sock goes from like six to nine and then I think it said nine to 12. And I got the nine to 12 to be on the safe side. If you were like me and kind of in the middle of that, probably do the depth size down. They fit fine. It's just like when I'm putting on a shoe, especially like a tight shoe, it just like bunches up because it's a little big. Anyways. I'm going to go ahead, eat my breakfast, and get my butt to work. I really wanted to call in and say, can I just like have the morning off? I need to sleep. I'm so tired, but I did not, so I'm going to work. I will see you after work. No, after my chiropractic appointment, technically, so. I will see you later tonight. Hey guys, uh, so I am home now. I've actually already ate. And I'm on my way up. That's actually why I grabbed you. Ooh, hip. Ooh. Um, I'm on my way up to edit. And I have a story time for you. Wow. Great lighting. I know. I'm really blue right now. I'm blue. Dun -de -dun -de. Don't know. No copyright. So. My story. Okay, so I went to the chiropractor today, which that was awkward in itself because I never, I'm not the person who like when I get my hair done or I get my nails done and it's wrong or just doesn't look good, I'm not one of those people to go back and complain. It just makes me uncomfortable, which is funny because I'm perfectly fine with confrontation, but apparently me telling somebody to do their job better, I don't do, I can't, I just I feel wrong. Anyways, so there's one chiropractor out of the group that is just more forceful than the rest and it hurts. And I was hoping I would get used to it and that it was just because my pain was so fresh that it was just too painful. Anyways, so now that I finally had a couple of good days, I was had him today. And you don't get a pick, it's just random, they switch. Um, and so I called my husband afterwards and I was just like, I don't know what to do, it's just too painful. And he convinced me I needed to call them and tell them. So I called and told the receptionist, and I'm like, this is awkward and uncomfortable, but he's too forceful. I'm too tender. Anyways, he called me back, but I didn't answer because after that, I had even worse of a night. <laughs> and I just, I can't, I can't deal with it. So he left me a voicemail, which I have to go in tomorrow, so I'm, I'm sure he'll catch me. Which will be awkward and uncomfortable, but whatever. So, get this, right? After this, I went to Taco John's, which is like, it's only a Midwest thing, so it's a version of like Taco Bell, essentially. And I went there, and I can see all these construction workers there, and there's some, like, a couple of cones up, and like, the drive to get to the driveway, like, so basically there's a bunch of uh, parking spots, and then you can drive through the parking spots, you know, like in the middle, you know what I'm talking about. There's parking, parking in a drive. Okay, to get towards the driveway, or the drive through I mean. Well, half of it's blocked off. I think they were doing the concrete. So I start to turn to go in there, but there's one of those, and I'm brain farting so bad at what it's called, skid loader maybe? Mm, I can't think of the name. I think it's a skid loader. I don't know. One of those small machine, like, construction machines you see. I don't know what they're called. There's just one sitting there. And like, when I started to pull up, I could see that person driving it. And so I started to turn in there because I assumed that they would keep going, but they just stopped and didn't move. And I was like, just sat there for a second, like, what do I do? So I finally looked and I could see that I might be able to get around to the back side of the building. So I backed up and started to go straight the way I was originally like coming, well not coming, the opposite of the way I just came in. And I started to go and then I noticed that whole section is blocked off. You can't even get out over there now. They have it blocked off. So I'm like, what the hell? So I start to turn to the left 
which would go over some parking spots to kind of like do a circle. And there's no cones, mind you. Thank God, it was really dark too. There's not really a street light very well there. But thank God I was able to recognize and notice that that was a shade slightly darker on the ground because it was wet. It was wet concrete that had just been poured. But there was no cones, nothing. So thank God I slammed on my brake. I ended up not getting it. So I started to back up the other way to go back from the way I came but to turn into the way I wanted to go so I could turn around and go out the other direction the way I originally came in and as I was backing up I could see one of the construction workers saying something and looking at me so I rolled my, down my window and he goes, just told me that the guy was moved at the skid loader or whatever it is so I was like oh, okay so I literally did a 180 turn to go back to go that way to go through the drive through and there's so all of the construction people are now behind me but there's one guy Okay, so like I said, half of the way to drive up to get to the drive through is blocked off and coned off. And then there's the other section, which is kind of wide. It's, it's size of a vehicle and bigger, but you definitely couldn't fit two vehicles through there, but it's like a vehicle and a half. And the guy's just sitting there, okay? Mind you, the whole time I'm doing this like three point turn, the guy's just standing there, okay? So I turn, finally, and I just start going, right? And I see the guy go like this, like, you know, the, what the fuck? You know that, that that's what that means. And I'm just like, whatever, he's just being dramatic. And I planned on just driving past. But I heard him say something, because my radio wasn't really up, because I had just gotten off the phone with Mike. And I don't know why, but I was already ticked off, already irritated, and when I heard him say something, I knew it was rude. I couldn't hear it, but I knew it was gonna be like bitchy or something. So I slammed on my brakes and rolled down my window. Mind you, when I think back to this, ladies don't do this, because that could have escalated. I just, at the moment, didn't care. Also, I do carry a knife on me. Not that that matters, but I wasn't thinking. I shouldn't have said anything, but I was just so pissed and irritated. So I rolled my window down and said, did you say something? Or I said something like, what did you say? And he was like, slow down, there's people out here. Mind you, okay? It is a very short drive, probably from here, like over there. So it's, it's not a long drive, right? So I can't speed really through that area because I had just done a three point turn. And He's the only one there who had been standing there, not moving an inch the whole time. What was I supposed to do? Just creep up to him and hope he would move? No, I could clearly see there's plenty of space for me and still plenty of space to not even get close to him. I don't even know what I said. Honestly, I wish I would have been like not as irritated and shocked because I would have just said shut the fuck up and gone. But I don't know, I said something like yeah and or so and okay, I don't remember. I just rolled up my window and went to the drive-thru. Again, probably shouldn't have done anything because that could have escalated if he had bad bro had bad rage or something. But anyways, that was that's yeah. So that's my night. It's it's not not going great. So I need to get out of this mindset because you know when you're on the mindset, I feel like more bad things happen. So I'm gonna get out of it. I'm going to edit the next vlog to go live, which I don't remember what day it is. <laughs> that is that. I'm going to finish editing and I'm hoping I've been doing it where I edit at like 8 at night and I don't get done until 10 and then I feel like because I don't have a wind down time I've been sleeping like crap because the last couple of nights I wake up like every hour to two hours and today I was dead so I had to get a monster at work because I needed energy and I'm wondering if it's because I don't have any like wind down, wind down, relax time. It's straight computer, work, 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 sleep. So instead of waiting, because normally I'd like relax for an hour before I came up here. So I'm not going to do that. I'm up here. I'm editing. When I'm done editing, then I'll go relax. That's my goal. So I feel like it's probably pointless just to time lapse this because you'll just see my eyes moving and that's probably weird so I'm gonna go ahead just edit this and then I'll talk to you when I do something different probably won't be until I just get ready for the night and take off my makeup so yes see you later okay so it is now officially 11 o'clock I have moved from this position I'm just back here <laughs> anyways I'm going to take my makeup off and everything and get ready and go to bed so I will see you guys tomorrow
Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another video. I'm actually just popping on here real fast to say hi because I realized I just sped through the eye look and didn't say a word, which is normally actually the easiest for me because, you know, first thing in the morning, I can talk, but my voice is really raspy because I haven't had anything to drink, and it's just, and I'm tired, and you know, it just works better if I can speed through my makeup. I just wanted to pop on here real quick to show you my, out my outfit because, hello, I said we're doing cheetah or leopard print every day. So this is today's fit. It's all black underneath, which is, oh, a torrid shirt, and then... I actually think this jacket is torrid too. I swear, my whole closet pretty much is torrid. So I'll link this down below if you want it. But I need to go to work. So I will see you guys when I come back. I have to go to the chiropractor after work today. Which is going to be awkward because he has already left me a voicemail. Sent me an email apologizing. So I feel like he's going to apologize in person. Which just makes me uncomfortable. But we'll get through it. <laughs> So, I will see you guys when I come back from work and the chiropractor. Sorry, it's really backlit because my cat wants those open. Keeps trying to look outside. Anyways, it's technically the next day. Obviously, I'm in a different outfit. But I tried to do my makeup somewhat similar since I didn't have the camera to film it. <sighs> Anyways, I didn't do anything yesterday. I was just in a mood and it wasn't a good day. And since I have stuff kind of pre-filmed for this, I figured I could skip a day. <sighs> Anyways, um, today is my half day at work, so I'm just gonna eat and then I will go to work. I plan on going to lunch with Mike and my dad said he's coming in town, so he wants to meet us for lunch. So I won't film that because my dad doesn't do the camera. So I will probably just see you when I'm back from doing all of that crap. I actually have a nail appointment today too, so. Anyways, I will just, Catch you guys when I do something interesting that doesn't involve somebody who doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> so, it's a lot later. <laughs> it's actually 5.18 at night. So I went to lunch with Mike and my dad and then I went to Costco with my dad and then I just kind of relaxed a little bit. And then I got my nails done. They're just red and then one glitter, come on. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but they gave me a gift when I left, which I'm sure it's probably something to do with nails, I would assume. Oh, it's lotion. That's nice of them. I literally just bought lotion while I was sitting there, though. That's okay. It's a pomegranate lotion. Well, that was nice. I can't smell anything past the lotion on my hands, but that smells good. It definitely smells like pomegranate. Honestly, it smells like pomegranate and a little bit of wine. Oh, I didn't get it all off. Hey, off the table, Tippy. You see this little boy? Tippy. Yeah, stay off the table. I need to teach him manners. Come here. <laughs> nice try. Come, get my baby. Oh. He hates being held. Tippy. Anyways, Mike's on his way home. And we're gonna go get something to eat. I don't know what or where, but he had a really bad day at work, apparently. I don't know how much I'm going to film tonight. So because I am still ahead, I think, I might just combine some more days because I'm not doing anything tonight. And I didn't do anything today, obviously. I was gonna film, but that clearly didn't happen. I feel like that's all my vlogs are ever saying. Like, I was gonna do this, but I'm gonna relax. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys later. Like I said, Mike's in a bad mood, so we're probably just gonna go eat and talk. So there's nothing really to film for that. So I will see you guys whoa, when there's something to film. Uh, editing me here, sorry. I completely forgot to end this vlog because I ended up not filming anything else the rest of this day. So this is me ending the vlog and we'll see you tomorrow.